Picture out a painting of a happy family lavishing their perfect daily life, bonding together blissfully as the children play their tea time games. Giggles and chuckles fill the air, but one normal afternoon with laughter and joy soon turned into chaos when a little girl disappeared from home. This little sweet girl and the life of their whole family changed drastically due to her mysterious disappearance. How do you react to something like that? when such an important person is taken away from you and you don't even have anyone to blame but fate itself. Today on Crime Diaries, we head to Tennessee to explore the case of Summer Wells. Summer Moon Utah Wells was last seen at her home in the Beach Creek community of Hawkins County, Tennessee on the afternoon of June 15. Her parents describe her as a very loving, sweet, and obedient girl. On June 15, Summer was planting flowers at the front of the house with her mother Candace and her grandma when Summer decided to return to the house to play with her toys and her brother. Her mother agreed and left Summer on the porch of their house, while her three brothers watched TV and surfed the net. After leaving Summer, Candace shouted to the boys to look after Summer before returning to work. Soon, Candace returned from her work and inquired from the boys about the whereabouts of Summer, to which the boys replied that she was playing with her toys in the basement. Her mother then called out to Summer for quite some time. When she didn't respond, Candace went down to the basement to check, but she was nowhere to be found. That was the last moment that Summer was ever seen. Summer's family, including parents Don Wells and Candace Bly, reported that she was last seen around 6.30 p.m. at her home. She was last seen wearing a pink shirt and gray shorts and may have been barefooted at the time. A river and a single two-lane road that traverses the entirety of the county can be found in the region where Summer vanished. Both Sullivan County and Hawkins County end at Beach Creek. There are farms, multiple churches, and mountains in this peaceful rural area. Authorities believed Summer was in great danger on June 16, so they issued an Amber Alert on her behalf. News channels were on the scene the entire day in Hawkins County, covering updates as soon as they happened. At a media briefing, Hawkins County Sheriff's Office officials said investigators had not identified any suspects or vehicles of interest. By the end of the day, authorities had received 30 tips relating to the girl's disappearance. Since then, that number has jumped to 2,200, as confirmed by TBI officials. Police released images of her with long hair in the hours following her disappearance, characterizing her as 3 feet tall, 40 pounds, and having blue eyes. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation then tweeted, Missing 5-year-old Summer Wells may now have shorter hair than that depicted in our earlier notifications. They posted additional photographs to show her hair length at that point. Summer's case captivated the nation, spurring volunteer and state search operations as well as an ongoing inquiry. TBI and Hawkins County officials enlisted the help of 19 additional agencies as the initial phases of the search progressed. Unreliable cell phone service and rugged terrain caused issues for search parties, and crews asked people to clear the area to help professionals ensure everyone's safety. A few days after Summer vanished, the TBI disclosed that it was looking into Don Wells' allegations that Summer had been kidnapped. Don Wells, who was interviewed by news outlets, addressed concerns that possible foul play may have been involved in the case. Additionally, Don Wells disclosed that TBI officials investigated his home as part of the inquiry and that the five-year-old was not the family's first missing person. Rose Marie Bly, Summer's aunt, went missing in 2009. The Charlie Project, an organization that catalogs missing person cases, stated that Rose Bly was last seen in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin on August 1, 2009. She reportedly left her home that night to meet a cousin at a bar, but she never reached her destination. 
Five days later, her car was discovered 30 miles away in a parking lot. That woman was never found and her case remains unsolved. Four days after the Amber Alert was sent out, Alabama-based individuals and organizations joined the hunt. For weeks, representatives from more than 40 agencies searched the entire Beach Creek neighborhood for the small child. Over a thousand acres were searched by specialized forces on foot and by air. Additionally, dive teams were sent to check neighboring lakes and ponds. Investigators requested Hawkins County residents to start examining their own properties as the search for the five-year-old continued claiming that she might have found a way inside a shed or other outside structure while looking for cover. At the time, 77 organizations from other states, including Ohio, Alabama, Virginia, Georgia, and North Carolina, were helping with the hunt. TBI officials were asked if Summer's parents were suspects in the missing person case, and they said they had not ruled out any possibilities. Later, officials from Hawkins County disclosed that Don Wells had been detained in 2020 on suspicion of domestic abuse. Following the incident, Summer Wells' mother, Candace Bly, filed for an order of protection against Wells. In the now-dismissed order of protection, Bly stated, I am afraid for my children and myself. According to the protection order, Bly said Wells was mentally and physically abusive. Bly later asked for a dismissal of the order of protection. On April 21, 2021, the charges of domestic assault and unlawful possession of a weapon were dismissed. As the case entered its second week, TBI spokesman Leslie Earhart commented, this one is outside the usual. At that time, the hunt had attracted more than 106 organizations from six states. Additionally, authorities encouraged adjacent residents to go via security camera and trail footage for any hints from summer. Over 13,800 hours of searching had been reported by the 1,150 searchers who had participated in the hunt. In addition, the TBI's fixed-wing search helicopter had flown 21.2 hours total in the search and was having difficulties with the terrain. In other interviews, Donald Wells expressed his hypothesis, stating that someone entered the family's property through a woodland route and abducted the girl when no one was looking. Donald added that the family's basement door was typically left open and unlocked. Donald believed Summer was carried down a steep and rugged trail, just a few feet away from the house. At the time of her disappearance, Donald said he was at work, his sons were inside the home, and his wife and mother-in-law were outside, facing away from the basement door. According to the father of four, search dogs had previously detected Summer's scent on the path, but they had lost it close to a road. He thinks someone put his daughter in a vehicle and left. Summer's mother, Candace Bly, seemed to agree with Donald's hypothesis when she expressed her own conviction that some disgusting, evil guys had lured Summer away from her house. Hawkins County Sheriff Ronnie Lawson subsequently affirmed that the dogs had tracked her scent for a while, but then it faded close to a road. He clarified that sometimes dog scents fade when they switch from one surface to another, such as from gravel to pavement. There was a significant development in the case on June 26, 2021. While investigators don't have any evidence that Summer was abducted, they have been covering all their bases. They've interviewed known sex offenders in the area. Also, they've been following up on all vehicle descriptions given to them that may have been in the area that day. One of those vehicles of special interest was a 1998-2000 maroon or red Toyota Tacoma with a full bed ladder rack and white buckets in the truck bed. A witness regularly spotted the truck in the area. Investigators wanted to speak to the driver. TBI officials began scaling back the search on June 27. Earhart addressed the move at a press event. Things took an unexpected turn when Fox News reported that both of Summer's parents have criminal records. Don Wells, Summer's father, has served time in jail for drug and burglary-related crimes in Texas, Utah, and Arkansas, as well as multiple violent felonies. He received multiple parole infractions, citations in the late 1990s and early 2000s. In Wisconsin, Summer's mother, Candace Bly, also has a criminal history. In 2003, she pleaded guilty to misdemeanor domestic assault charges. According to Sheriff Lawson in a previous statement, 
Don Wells' criminal past was not considered relevant to the case. According to the sheriff, Summers' parents will continue to cooperate fully with the inquiry. Multiple law enforcement agencies have been involved in the search for Summer, and a $25,000 reward was even offered for information on her whereabouts. Later, Don Wells spoke to a local newspaper, saying he didn't think the case would have a good outcome. Wells claimed that he thought Summer had been kidnapped, but the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation is still lacking proof. A few months later, it was revealed that the Department of Child Services had taken Summer's three brothers out of the Wells family home. At the time, Don Wells described his house as hazardous. He claimed that numerous strangers, including some claiming to be psychics, had trespassed on the family's property and that the family had received threats via social media. According to reports, Wells also claimed that other individuals had come to him and accused him of various crimes related to the disappearance of his daughter. Summer's parents started a YouTube channel to thank the neighborhood for its efforts four months after Summer vanished. There are currently dozens of videos on the channel and there are approximately 14,000 subscribers. Additionally, the two created a website that contains information on the case. The website also features various images of the girl and comments from her family. Not just the family posted videos on YouTube about the incident. Heels on the Ground, a different group, also started to film the case on the video platform. News channels spoke with YouTuber Marissa Zdodinsky. Candace Bly filed a trespassing complaint against her in December. Zdodinsky later confirmed that she had indeed walked along a road near what she believed was the Wells' property and even entered a shed she thought they owned. Summer turned six years old on February 4. The Wells family published a video on their YouTube site to remember the occasion. TBI authorities informed WVLT News that at this time, numerous sizable payments have been made to the Summer Wells Reward Fund bringing the total to $73,705.90. On the YouTube channel Don Wells Family Official, Summer's dad uploaded a six-minute video in which he said, Since you've been gone, I've been completely devastated. I looked everywhere for you, my beautiful girl. I thought the YouTube would be the most powerful tool to help find you, and perhaps it still could be, but at a price we may not be able to afford. Our family may not survive, he continued. So I ask God to please look over my precious daughter. We love her so much. We pray to God that you and the boys will return to us. I would be so happy to be a family again. A year after her disappearance, Summer Wells still remains missing. Investigators and searchers have not given up on the girl and are asking anyone to submit information. A lot of individuals who cared for Summer Wells have been deeply wounded and distressed by her sudden disappearance. She was an innocent young child who was adored by everyone in her vicinity. Although we continue to hope for their darling daughter's safe return at some point, her family is still holding on to their strength. This family was treated unfairly, and perhaps we'll all get to see her beautiful smile once more. What are your thoughts about the case of Summer Wells? Tell us in the comments section. Also, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. This has been Crime Diaries, and until next time, don't be another statistic.